Praise the Lord again. It's your brother, boy, brother D. And I'm back here with another video. And uh, like I said, if you're a first time viewer, I truly appreciate you coming through. And if you return a subscriber, I do appreciate your support. And I thank God for all of you. And I love you all. I appreciate everyone that's got me. I appreciate ones, even ones that want to troll me. You know, so I, I appreciate all of everybody because, uh, hey, without you, hey, the, this, this channel wouldn't even be, you know, number one, without God, so, because that's the one, hey, who's in large and in charge, and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And um, I just thank God today. And I'm just coming with a short word. Now, those, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to push that post notification button for any future content. And um, hey, just come on and rock with and chill with D-Light. You know, you know so uh, what I'm going to do is just... Uh, Give a little word of encouragement today, and it's coming from James chapter 4 and verse 7. And it says, Therefore, submit yourself unto God. Resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. When you submit to God, see, a lot of times people take that scripture, and they only say, resist the devil, and he shall flee. Resist the devil, and he shall flee. No, nah, it says something before that. It says, submit, therefore, unto God. Resist the devil and he shall flee. Only way the devil is going to flee from you. If you're submitted unto God, you're subject unto God, and that, you know, um, you are dedicated and wholeheartedly devoted unto God. Because sometimes, you know, like I said, the enemy, he's out to attack. And he's been trying to kill, steal, and destroy. He's been attacking the women. He's been attacking the children. And we have to continue to pray Pray like never before. This is the time where we need to be submitted unto God. Because guess what? The devil is running free range. And what we do, we got to realize, us as children of God, we have, you know, God has all power. And when we can come together and, and not de be divided or anything, you know what? Things can happen. But number one, God's prophecy got to take full, you know, take place anyway, you know, because he said certain things are going to happen and it has to happen. But the thing is, is we submitted unto God. We, as his children, we're going to be covered. We're going to be, you know, um, covered in his blood. We're going to be covered, you know, by the Lord, just like he's going to be our shield and our buckler. You know, as Psalm 91 tells us, he's our shield and our buckler, you know, and that's um, another thing. You know what? What we got to do is keep Psalm 91 in our heart. Amen. Psalms 91, you know, and that's, you know, one of the uh, Psalms I love, love so much is, you know, and I'm going to look, here it is. And I'm going to read it to you. And it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, hallelujah, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Amen. And God, you will trust. He's our fortress. He's the one that's going to keep us. Amen. Amen. If we abide under the shadow of the Almighty, if we abide under him, amen, take residence in him, rest in him, and let him take residence in us. Like the words say, abide in him and his word abide in you. Amen. And the word abide means to take residence. Amen. So what we got to do is just allow him to take residence and rest in him and let him take residence in us. Glory be to God. Amen. He said, part, um, verse 2 said, I will say unto the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he will deliver thee from the snare and the fowler and the noise and pestilence. 
He shall cover thee with thy feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. He shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Hallelujah. He's that shield and that buckler. He's going to hold us down. Amen. That's the type of God we serve. He's going to hold us down. Amen. Thou shalt not be afraid by the terror by night, nor the arrow that flyeth by day. Hallelujah. Nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays, lay, lays waste in noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Amen. These things gonna come. Thing you know, you know, different things gonna come our way, but it's gonna not gonna hit us. Like you know, um, you know, it's hard sometimes. What we have to realize: look, if we trust in God, and not live in fear, God is going to keep us. Amen. And that's what he's telling us. He's going to preserve us. Amen. He's not going to let these things come nigh us. This is a psalm of protection right here. Only with thy eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because he has made the Lord. Um, thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. And therefore, no evil shall befall thee, neither shall no plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angel charge over us in all thy ways. He shall bear us up with thy hands, lest thy dust his foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the otters and the young lions. The dragon shall thou trample under their feet. Amen. Devil's under our feet because, you know, the um, otter represents serpents and everything. So he's going to, hey, we got victory. We have victory in him because he has set us, because he has set us his love upon me. Therefore, I will dwell, I mean, deliver him and I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call up, I mean, yeah, he shall call upon me and I will answer him and I will be with him in trouble and I will deliver him and honor him with long life and show him my salvation. So if we dwell on Psalms 91, amen, and read that on a daily basis as well as a psalm because this is a psalm of covering, a psalm of protection, a psalm that keeps our household, amen, and protection. Because there's so much that's going out there that, you know, we have to stand and be submitted unto God. When we submit unto God, then we take that scripture and dwell in it, amen. He's going to cover us. Things are going to happen. Things are going to come, you know, come upon us sometimes, you know, and try to shake us and try to, you know, move us in our faith. But we got to stand bold and trust God in the whole process. Trust the process of what God is bringing you through. Amen. So, um, like I said, be submitted unto God because that's the way the enemy ain't going to got no choice but to flee because of the fact that we serve a mighty God and he's going to keep us and he's going to cover us as long as we stay in his will. With that being said, it's your boy D. Um, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. So let's make it a great day. And until we meet again, I love you. And remember, all situations that you don't have control over, take your hands off. Let God do it. Let him handle it. He's in full control. Until we meet again, God bless you. Peace. And I love you all.